Good morning, you guys. We are, it is a Saturday, first of all. So I think I'm going to bring Sunday with me every time I go to Dunkin' on Saturdays because first of all, she's very upset because they did not give her a treat. It was kind of a bummer. But we sat and we parked, come here, baby. I know. We sat and we parked like it in the Duncan parking lot while I was just like sipping on my coffee, talking to my mom. And she just like had her head out the window and was just like, you know, letting the wind go through her hair. <laughs> and so many people drove by with the biggest smiles on their face. Like they were so happy when they were going to pick up their Duncan. And like, I think she made people stay. So like, how cool would that be to just, I mean, I need to bring her more often because she really makes people's day. And meanwhile, I'm like, this is my only break from <laughs> Sunday. I don't think I told you guys this, but when I went to Duncan the other day, the girl was like, you need to bring that palm ski of yours one of these times because I never bring Sunday by myself. And I was, I literally said to her, this is my only break from her all day. <laughs> horrible it's actually so mean but it's true uh, all day I'm with her at the house hi baby I know so like sometimes it is nice to just get away it's like when you have it's not like when you have a baby not to compare having a dog to having a baby but it's just like getting away from her for just a minute it's sometimes a good time for me <laughs> but it was nice seeing everybody get so happy over her today other than the Duncan employee my girl wasn't even there that asked me to bring her and so because if she was there we would have gotten a treat which was why I brought Sunday because I wanted to show you guys the big honking treat that they give her so I'll have to show you guys another time you guys this is very frightening I just found an ant in my car and if you guys have been around a while you know so once in a blue moon we have an ant issue last time we had the ant issue we had to go and get the car cleaned I am not going to be happy if there's ants in this car because literally there's no reason there should be ants in this car. This car is very clean. I think if there's anything in this car food related, there was like one fry in here for a while. There was just one fry. <laughs> so if there is ants, I'm going to be pissed. But my neighbor, you guys, also I found out my neighbor was telling me that she has had ant issues in her car as well. The nice neighbor, not the bad neighbor. And she was saying that like once in a while she gets a really bad ant issue in her car and I was like no freaking way <laughs> we are the same I didn't realize that it made me feel a lot better because I was like I really thought we were very dirty when we had all the ants in our car but really apparently we just have an ant problem near our house so anyway it's a good day so far today 9 46 in the morning I got to Duncan before like the big rush of people so that was nice I was able to get there before the big line my Duncan app is being a little wonky right now though and it's really not working very well they're not showing me any of my free coupons and lord knows I have free coupons um but that is what happened this morning and then what else did I want to tell you oh that's what I wanted to tell you guys about this other thing that happened which was the cutest thing ever <laughs> while we were sitting there and sunday was sticking her head out the window i'll put a picture of what sunday looked like sticking her head out the window like if i was driving by her i also would think she was the cutest thing ever <laughs> but this big army vehicle i'll put it on screen right now drove by i wish i would have been vlogging while they drove by because you could see the little army guy not little army guys acting like they're little army figures or whatever you know those little like figurine things but the the guy were in the army vehicle looking out the window at her and with like big smiles on their face it was so cute and they were in their army garb I don't know what's going on there like what I'm confused honestly I know that there's a lot going on in the world and I'm trying not to address it because I don't know very much I'm not intelligent when it comes to this kind of stuff but from what I do know it's all extremely sad and I my heart hurts when I think about it but I'm confused what is going on here why there's an army vehicle here because we don't I don't think we have any army base or anything and they were in full army garb so I don't know what that was all about oh my gosh I have a headache every time I think about this I always get a headache when I think about the everything that's going on over there 
Oh, that's really about all that I have to report about my morning so far. Oh, other than it was gloomy AF this morning when I got up. So I didn't bring Sunday on a nice walk or anything. I literally, that's pr another part of why I brought her with me today because I felt bad because like I didn't really bring her on like a full walk. I brought her on a little walk to the point where she would go to the bathroom and then I turned around. <laughs> and so I didn't get to bring her on a full walk and I could tell she was upset. So I was like, I'll bring her with me. But it was so gloomy out. It said it was supposed to thunderstorm all day. And so I was thinking like, maybe that's why I have a headache. Because a lot of times I get headaches with the weather, like when the weather changes like that and when it's really bad weather. And, but then now it's sunny. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so I'm not mad about it though. It is beautiful out. I hope it stays beautiful out because it's been really hard for me genuinely to like vlog or do any type of like sit downy videos when it's been so gloomy out. So now that is probably what I'm going to go home and do. I'm probably going to go home and get ready to film a couple of sit down videos for you guys so that I can do those because I haven't done I haven't done a sit down video in ages you guys like I miss doing sit down videos honestly so that is my plan I'll probably go home do that and I will chat with you guys later <laughs> okay you guys so it is gloomy out so I'm just going to wait on doing <laughs> sit down videos but instead I'm going to clean and I am going to redo our bedding probably and I want to change a couple things I've been kind of like putting this off for a while now because I'm nervous about it but you guys can see like how tall our bed is and it really is a struggle for not only Keaton but also even Sunday like she can't get up on the bed either but Keaton really struggles getting up on the bed because it's so tall and she has really bad arthritis I just I'm realizing right now as I'm speaking a normal person probably would have cleaned their room before telling you guys all this <laughs> like literally just ignore Dominic's side of the bed and honestly ignore mine as well because it's also a mess but Either way, what I'm saying is that our bed is too tall <laughs> and Keaton struggles because she has arthritis in her back. So we've been talking for a long time now about possibly getting a new bed, but I'm realizing that we really don't need a new bed. We just need to remove our box springs. So we have box springs underneath our mattress. What makes me nervous about removing the box springs though is it does have like wood, on, wood panels on the bottom. I'm just worried that our bed won't be as comfortable. And also, I don't know. We're going to see. I'm going to try and remove the box springs and see if we can make our bed shorter. For Keaton, Dominic's a little nervous about it because he's worried then Sunday we'll be able to just, like, jump off. Because she loves to do that. Even with our bed being tall, she loves to jump off in the middle of the night and go get, like, water and stuff. And he's worried that she will do that in the middle of the night and go, like, exploring. But if she does that, I feel like that's fine. Because she like deserves to do that first of all and I she's really a good baby I don't think she'll get like into any issues or anything but I also feel like if she does get down off the bed she'll be able to get right back up right now the dilemma is if she gets down off the bed she can't get back on the bed <laughs> because she like it's too tall so we end up having to wake up and let her back on the bed where so I feel like she ends up exploring a lot more because of that situation as well because then like what if we don't wake up and realize she's not in bed with us guys i got some crazy hair like these baby hairs that like pop out on the bottom of my head i mean it is what it is i know a lot of people have hair like that but they really do be making me look crazy all the time so i'm gonna try and redo our bedding i'm gonna try i think i'm gonna like change up our sheets and stuff like that too i feel like this is a good time to do that probably and we'll see. I'll check back in with you guys afterwards and we'll see what it ends up looking like, if we like it or not. Um, Dominic's gonna be mad. I already know. <laughs> I already know he's gonna be mad that I changed it because he's really nervous about Sunday, like, exploring whenever she wants in the night. But he'll just have to deal. And then if we want, we'll put it back if he doesn't like it or if we don't like it. But I feel like it'll be so much better. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, <laughs> literally, I just missed it. I'm taking the bedding off now and Blossom. Oh, you can see her. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hi, baby. <laughs> hey, little cutie. She crawled right in there and like made a home out of the bed. That was so adorable. Yeah, you're a cutie. You can go back in there. I wasn't trying to keep you from your little hiding place. You're so cute. <laughs> 
I told Dominic if I ever move the um, box springs that I'll like have somewhere to put them and I literally put them in here. I don't know how happy he's going to be with this, but I'm going out of town anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I feel like they can sit in here while we like test it out and then if we decide, we can always put them back or we can throw them out once we make our decision if we want to leave the bed the same way that it is. But actually, let me go show you. I'll show you now because I just um, finished doing the bedding. The only thing is, is our like bedding, like, um, like our duvet cover is in the wash right now. So I don't have the duvet cover on it yet, but I'll go show you guys. Okay, you guys. So this is what it looks like in the end. And it looks honestly, it looks all right. It doesn't look too bad, honestly. Um, I did clean out underneath of our bed, which was much needed. And then I put the mattress back in and it looks pretty good i don't know we'll see well our ketone still has not gotten up there sunday still doesn't seem like she knows she can get up there so we will see in time how this all works out okay you guys so bear with me about the fact that the bed's not made but literally like how freaking cute are they <laughs> it looks crazy to be real with you guys like it honestly looks really weird <laughs> not having the box spring but Keaton lays in the bed like literally it's been a couple of days now and Keaton has been like actually like getting up in bed during the daytime and laying in the bed and it just makes me so happy to see and then like them just laying next to each other <laughs> it's just so cute because Keaton can never get up there so like if we're not here I'm sorry I'm like really messing with them right now I can tell Blossom's starting to get irritated as well <laughs> But if we're not here, they, uh, yep, there she is. Hi, baby. I'm sorry. I know you're sleeping. Um, if we're not here, Kitan never gets in the bed. If we're in bed, like, she struggles even. We usually have to pick her up. And then Blossom always gets in bed. But the fact that they can actually cuddle together now makes it worth it. Although I will say we have been sleeping on it a couple days, like I said, and it's not nearly as comfortable. And, like, getting out of the bed feels a lot more difficult, which I'm not a huge fan of. But... I don't know. I feel like it's worth it so that Keaton is more comfortable and I feel like her back isn't going to hurt her nearly as much. And then we still got the big pile of stuff <laughs> that we're working on, honestly. we It's just so been so like hot out recently that we feel like we don't really need our blanket, which is under there. And then this purple blanket, Dominic and I have had since we met. And like, I don't know. I, I, I was trying to get rid of it, but we, I, I'll actually show you guys a picture. I have a picture of Dominic, like, laying with this purple blanket when literally it was, like, a week or two after I met him. He was laying and he had a headband around his head because he had ping-ponged his head between two cars and, like, fell. Like, literally, this was, like, two maybe two, maybe three weeks after I had met him. And I don't know, this blanket just like holds some memories for us, I suppose you could say. But he had ping ponged his head between these two cars. And when he was, cause he used to be a car um, salesman. I know, bad rap, <laughs> but he didn't, he wasn't very good at it. Let's just be real. <laughs> so that's why he's no longer a car salesman. He would say, he would say different. He would think he was amazing at it, but we, we had no money back then. <laughs> But, um, he was, like, running or something. I don't know. And he slipped on one of the lines in between two cars. Like, one of the, like, painted lines. And he literally hit his head on one and hit his head on the other car and went to the hospital. I don't even know what happened because I was at work at the time. I was actually working at a retail store at that time. And he texted me and he was like, hey, like, I'm don't freak out, but I'm in the hospital, like, come to me when you get off and like I freaked out obviously <laughs> I came to him right away and then um he was he had been checked out they said his head was fine but we we aren't exactly convinced because ever since then he's had really bad headaches and it's just that he's honestly like had bad memory which is hard for me because I don't or I don't know because I only knew him for three weeks before that happened so I don't know what his memory was like before but he swears his memory is so much worse than it used to be and I just have to take his word for that so I don't know there's nothing we can do about it but they put him on this medication and then the medication made him crazy <laughs> I think I've mentioned it to you guys before in the past when we talked about him going on medication for maybe his teeth 
teeth or something but the medication made him like wake up in the middle of the night and like be angry like like he was angry like he wasn't like he wouldn't like swear or anything like that but like he we would fight in the night because he would say something i would respond and then like he would swear he was coherent and like he wasn't so it was like causing fights with us in the night and then when we woke up he wouldn't remember the fight whatsoever it was actually so bad and he was talking in his sleep like a lot and so like i started recording him and then he would get mad that i was recording him in his sleep like he would be asleep he wouldn't even know like he was having these conversations with me and then when we would wake up i would show him the recording this actually once i started recording him literally it happened like two nights in a row and he was like i need to get off this medication so that was a pretty crazy experience because i really didn't know this guy all that much <laughs> i had only been with him like i said for three weeks and like he was already being like he was like being crazy at night and obviously had like really bad memory issues but it was because obviously he hurt himself but, I mean, his memory is way, way, way better now. But at the time, like, that was a rough patch. I'm not going to lie because I didn't know if that was who he was or if it was because he had hit his head on the thing, you know. But um, in the end, he got off the medication right away. And then, like, he's never, literally never been like that. He does talk in his sleep. I will say that much. But he's not mean in his sleep. And he's not, uh, he doesn't, like, pick fights with me in his sleep or anything. So, but he's a very chatty person in his sleep. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway you guys um i should probably wrap this up i know you guys hate it when i do shorter videos i don't even know how long this video is honestly but i should wrap this one up here and i will see you guys in my next one remember to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it honestly it makes me so happy whenever i see you guys thumbs up and when you comment down below i love all of your comments you guys already know i communicate i'm very like heavy commenter <laughs> so if you guys comment to me i always comment back to you guys so anyway Anyway, I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next one. <laughs>